What's up, the squad? Back with another video. I'm Reckless with me. Y'all seeing the title was going on. A lot of people was telling me in the comments that I should check this out uh, for the past videos that I've been doing. So um, somebody was kind enough to send this video through. Um, hopefully, y'all seeing this. Uh, hopefully, it's getting through. Um, we can only we can only hope for that. But definitely wanted to check this out um, because now I'm interested and fascinated about. Uh, what's going on with the Obamas and everything. But I had a lot of people commenting um, this specific thing. Um, so I definitely want to check it out. Let's get into it. You made a ton of news right. officiating the wedding in New York yesterday. Is this like a, is this like a new uh, cottage uh, career move I for you? I am so excited. Okay. And I should do very well because I don't charge. And do you think that the country will see the first, the United States will see the first gay president or the first woman well, we president? We already have it with Obama. So let's just calm down. Got it. No, Michelle is a trend. I'm sorry, she's a what? That is wild. And somebody said that she had a... Uh, something happened to her or something. A transgender. We all know. Oh, my gosh. It's okay. Distinguished guests and men and women of the finest military in the world. Most of all, Admiral Muller, Deborah, Michael and I also want to acknowledge uh, your son Jack who's deployed today. All of you. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying, like, he really said, I, I, and I, I had people sending different videos. People were sending emails, um, messages on Instagram about literally him saying Michael like this is crazy to me. extraordinary service to our country Michael and I also want to acknowledge uh, your son Jack who's deployed today I've always thought Michelle Obama looked like and then and then on top of that I was looking up uh, Michelle Obama uh, I was trying to find pregnancy photos um, cause somebody was like Michelle Obama done some with her kids uh, it was a video out uh, they're close. They have close friends or something. Uh, it's a whole thing that I'll hopefully y'all can see this video and hopefully this video gets pushed through. Um, but I didn't find a video of her pregnant, and this I feel like that's odd. I feel like whoever you are, you have kids, and you're a public figure. Um, uh, anything political. Um, I feel like anything, like you're famous, like people know you are, like you see a, a pregnant photo, like it gets out there. It's nothing. It's Look not like something was wrong with her. They talk about how beautiful she is. She looks profanely scary and monstrous to me. And she always wears these weird fluffy things around her waist. And her shoulders are uh, wide enough to put three men's heads on. And of course, you know the classic thing of a male. You could have three heads on a male's shoulders and only another head on a woman's shoulder or one half of a head on each side. That's a well-known thing in anatomy. And I saw a online video that I may air today, and we may look into this, uh, talking about Michelle Obama looking like a man and how they only release photos of her with her hands up, covering her shoulders or her turned at an angle. And I started looking at it with Joan Rivers saying she's a transvestite. And I've been hearing this for years, and I thought, come on. I know Obama was raised by a transvestite and the rest of it, and I'm not getting into bashing people. That's not my cup of tea. He was raised by that, too. I didn't even know that. See, it's, it's like every video <clears throat> that I react to, I learn more. But I started to really... And it's more so not, not even me like having such a problem with certain things. It's just, it's so much hidden that it becomes ridiculous instead of just coming out last night look at videos of this and look at photos of her in the official white house photo and she looks like an nba center oh wow i mean she looks more like shaquille o'neal than a black woman and knowing all the weirdness and that we don't even know who obama really is and his social security numbers don't e-verify and then his dad clearly we sell the documentary uh, dreams of my real father and I mean, it's him with the famous pornographer who lived in Hawaii, who his grandfather was best buddies with and who Obama would stay the summers with. 
a famous communist pornographer. And you look at the guy, it's Obama's dad. So the whole Kenya thing with her saying, my husband's from Kenya, we visited his place of birth in multiple videos in 2006 and seven. His Harvard Review, where he was the head of the Harvard Law Review, and he said, I was born in Kenya in his bio. And in his bio for shopping book deals when he was a senator, state senator said, I was born in Kenya. And we, and we took that bait hook, line, and sinker, folks. That, oh my God, they're covering up the records, always from Kenya, but his dad looks something like him. And then you see Frank Marshall Davis. I mean, it's his daddy. And then his grandfather's best buddies with him in the CIA. And then you go, oh my gosh. And then imagine the joke. See, it's all about a joke on us that he's got cut out daughters, look nothing like him, and a cut out wife. And I began to look at his daughters last night and look at his wife. See what I'm talking about? She's either she's has that double chromosomal disorder where women are really men. And, and it's turned out a lot of the Olympic runners and a lot of the top uh, tennis players and, 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 and so things. Somebody has, somebody has showed a video of, it, they say close friends, and the father and the mother look exactly like the daughters. Pretty sure they named Sasha and Malia, right? Um, I can't remember their names, but I'm pretty sure. But I don't know. Really are not even really females. They have the, they're not hermaphrodites. Some of them are hermaphrodites or both. A lot of them have this double chromosome. Men can have it too. And the Olympics are looking at trying to ban this in men and women because men are like supermen. They're like cavemen. And then the women are like men when they have this chromosomal disorder. Was the double X, double Y. In fact, print me some literature on that. I'm going from memory. But I've always looked at her, her jaw, her shoulders, yeah. her pelvis. All of it looks male. And she has that male Superman physique. And I, it just clicked. I, You know what? I bet she is not who she says she is. I mean, my gut just... just but, why, but my thing is, like, why, like... I guess, I, I don't know. Why... Uh, really I, registered I with that. What do you think about that? There is chromosome abnormality. Chromosome anomaly, uh, abnormality, aberration, or mutation is a missing extra or irregular portion of chromosomal DNA. It can be from a atypical number of chromosomes or a structural abnormality in one of the chromosomes. Chromosome mutation has formerly used in a strict sense to mean a change in a chromosomal segment involving more than one gene. Yeah, but find the one guys that's hyper male or hyper female. It's super male, super female. Because I remember seeing documentaries about it and reading books about it and biology, reading about it. But it's a big issue in the Olympics. They talk about it on ESPN. This is crazy. Where they go and they do blood tests on, you know, female runners and folks that don't look like women. And, hey, it turns out they don't have a penis. Excuse my French. But that's the word. That's the medical word for it. Uh, but they do have male male genetics. They're men. They're men. And it turned out, remember the Russians couldn't lose in the 60s and 70s and 80s, and the, and the women weightlifting didn't really look like women. And they would test them, and, and, and you know, they didn't have steroids in them, but they looked like men. Well, they were men. Michelle Obama might be a man. I know that might sound ridiculous, but is it? Uh, after all, there are many questions surrounding the president's past, and now people are starting to question the sexual orientation of the first lady. Alex Jones has a special report on that. Bro, from bro, my thing is, like, so many people was commenting down, like, oh, this is old news. Oh, this is old. This is old. i would never seen this before. I've never seen this before until, like, a few days ago. But now I'm seeing all these people talk about it and it looked like this is a long time ago. Like From our new television studio in Austin, Texas. Well, Joan Rivers talked and about it. Makes, and it makes it even worse when you hide it, though. Like when you shut when you shove stuff away, like it makes it even worse to me, honestly. Like it makes it 10 times worse when everybody don't know about something like I don't know. Last few days, and it's a big international news story. That's a lot. The question is, who is Michelle Obama? Is she really a woman? Is she a man? 
Now, I'm not drawing any conclusions here, but I know this. It's fair to question anything and everything this administration says, because I can't think of an administration in history that has been caught with such a perfect record of everything they say and do being a lie, being a fraud. You've got all these examples with Obamacare and all the taxes it raises on poor people and the death panels and all the denials about that. And then the architect of Obamacare, Rahm Emanuel's brother, comes on Fox News and says, you know what, the plan is to bankrupt the healthcare system with this and bring in total socialism. So the insurance companies are getting in line. These people are the authors of so much corruption, so much tyranny, that they shouldn't whine and complain when the public doesn't believe anything they're saying, especially when every time I look at Michelle or Michael Obama, uh, the first lady of the... There go to Michael again. I'm telling y'all, like, I keep on, like, this is getting... I know I'm not saying too much, but... I... It's... it's I don't know. Like, it's... I feel like it's mind blowing to me because I didn't hear anything about this. And then when I see photos and see different things, then I'm like, that make me wonder. Hmm. You know, the first tranny, every time I look at them, something doesn't look right. She doesn't look like any black woman or any woman I've ever known. She's got shoulders that are wider than a man's, which physiologically doesn't happen. Like Joanna Man. Joanna Man. If y'all see the movie Joanna Man, it's called Joanna Man, right? It's Joanna Man. Pretty sure that's the movie called. That is so odd. Again, you can put three heads on a man's shoulders and only two heads on a woman's shoulders. That's a known anatomy. And then women generally have wider hips than, than men do. And you look at her arms and the rest of it, when she's standing straight on, she looks like no woman I have ever seen. Yeah, because you can like. But it's one thing too, because like you see like. I guess that'd be different though. I feel like it'd be different, honestly, like. I guess I'm just trying to like, I don't know. I guess it'd be different like if you were like. Cause you know you always see like bodybuilding women like you know lifting and like but that'd be different like if she actually did that i guess being the first no I don't think, yeah that would i'm just confused like what like and i'm trying to study too like i'm trying to see i feel like more and more i look at this photo like i i get i scare myself because it's like all these years I don't know. I guess it's not for y'all. Like, you know, it's not bothering me because y'all been seeing this. But I'm just confused, you know, like I'm... Hmm. Except for people who have had different chromosomal disorders who choose to be a woman. And I've got the statistics and the numbers right here in front of me. We're seeing more and more of these chromosomal disorders because of all the toxic waste and GMO that's been introduced. One of them is the Klinefelter syndrome or the double XY, where you basically are part female, part male, and then generally around puberty or even younger, uh, the person needs to choose who they're going to be. And when you look at other people who have been reported, uh, like Olympic runners and others, uh, to uh, perhaps having this disorder, they look just like Michelle Obama. And we've seen cases before where they then do the test and then don't release them. And the Russians got caught in the Olympics, of course, back in the 70s and 80s, having, quote, women wrestlers and weightlifters that really weren't women. Uh, they were really men. It's just they didn't have the genitalia. And some evidence showed they'd had it removed uh, so that the great state could be shown uh, of communism uh, as defeating, defeating capitalism. But Joan Rivers, obviously, while, while officiating at a gay wedding, uh, was basically asked about if America would accept this and, 
you know, she said, well, we already have a gay president and his, and his transvestite uh, uh, wife. So John Rivers is the one that put this out? Cause I don't, I don't, I don't even know John Rivers. Like y'all gotta put me on game. Like I, I know, yeah. I mean, but seeing a video, somebody, it was, it was actually, it was, it was a good ten or fifteen people that actually sent the same video of John Rivers saying that. Um, I didn't watch it. I watched it on here and seen it, but I seen that it was the same video because you know, same outfit, same face. But then again. I don't know about, but it's low key scary though. Like I'm, I'm trying to. I think this is one of the most fascinating videos I've ever reacted to. What doing YouTube? Three thousand videos, almost three thousand videos, and I think this is. Well, there was some, there was some videos at least about. 3,000 3, videos. I think this is up there in the top five. Because this is crazy. You know, for me, this isn't really a laughing matter because not just the sexuality, but the very genetics of the human species across the board is being manipulated. We've got some areas of the United States where more than two thirds of the frogs uh, are being born hermaphrodites or, or, or asexual or sterile. Uh, we've got all sorts of sexual mutations happening uh, in guinea pigs that are fed GMOs. Things I won't get into here on the air. And we are all guinea pigs under this. So getting all the political correctness aside, uh, there has always been people throughout history, males identify as females, females identify as males. There's always been a small portion of that, a small statistic. And I don't judge or attack those people. And I'm not obsessed with it either. I'm sick of the societal obsession with it. It's clearly being pushed, and that's what I'm tired of, is the force feeding of all of this uh, culturally to reduce population and, and also break up the family. I'm tired. My thing is, is why why hide something? I guess, the, I guess, I don't know. Like, I feel like I don't really know the reason behind it. But if this is, like, look at this. Like, Then somebody sent me a picture of some haircut ID of it saying Michael Robinson or something. It, it, it threw me off too. Like, I feel like it's one thing once people, I feel like it's one thing once people like send something and talk about something, they like, oh, this, and they, they only got like evidence on one thing, like, oh, this is just a little thing, like maybe. But it's so much stuff that I, that I looked at and tried to find that I couldn't find. And it threw me off. They were showing they, it was shown different pictures of you know the the two daughters, but then they threw some close friends in, in it too. Of what the daughters are looking like, those those close friends, and then I seen something about you know uh, Michelle or my, whatever Michelle's you know body like it, and then I seen something else about you know the little haircut ID, and then I looked up pregnancy photos of Michelle Obama I couldn't find anything and it actually is crazy because I feel like one kid you know you have one kid and you don't post as many pictures but at the same time somebody has a photo somebody has something that shows that she had those kids it's something shows that who you are the famous person like somebody I feel like everybody has that you know, especially service on the internet. And then like, I don't know how old her kids is, but I know that my parents have, you know, pictures of them, you know, preg pregnant or, you know, I don't know, like, I, it just is, 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 I don't know. Then on top of that, with having another child, when you have, that's what about like, I, this conspiracy, it, but it, but it's, it, they say it's, it's not conspiracy if the fact, it's there, like, I, I don't even know, like, and it makes it worse, like I said, when you hide things, when things are hidden, like it's it's hidden, like you're trying to flush this down. Like I'm even scared to even upload this video because I feel like it's gonna get taken down. Or I'm gonna I'm gonna get a strike. Like I, and if it comes to that point, then it's like it it makes it worse. Like uh, okay, well, some of this it's true. What's going on? And that's what makes it even.
tired of male role models that are traditional and female traditional role models being under attack. And so those that are pushing this politically correct agenda that tell us don't use the word bossy, it attacks women, or your kid can't play with a Nerf gun, or don't call illegal aliens immigrants, and then don't call them immigrants, call them migrants, and then don't call them migrants, call them people that you need to bow down and you know, worship and pay for, or you're a racist, or turn your guns in, or you're a racist, or vote for Obamacare, you're a racist. The truth is, we're dealing with a move towards eugenics and dehumanization, period, that makes Brave New World look like an instruction manual. And after all, Aldous Huxley did say in his nonfiction book, Brave New World Revisited in 1961, that indeed it was an instruction manual and that his brother headed up the UN plan uh, at UNESCO to actually end the sexes as we know it uh, and create biological uh, androids to serve the state. So we're being conditioned by the television, conditioned by the chemicals, conditioned by the bad food, all of it, to become artificial, artificial consciousness, uh, artificial insemination because uh, we're so incredibly uh, infertile that oh, we have to have three parents now and the baby has to be designed. And if they build back doors into all the technology and all the smart grids to surveil and control us, everything we talked about now admitted. I'm here to tell you they admit they're planning to build backdoor systems and stack genetic traits they want into all these new designer babies. The globalists are a cult of genetic engineering. So we can make jokes about Michelle Obama obviously having some I ain't, and that's the thing like i ain't even trying to make no joke out of this like i'm just trying to like i react to one video and y'all hit me with this like i i literally i'm i'm interested and it's fascinating to me because it's like dang like this is going on type of chromosomal mutation uh, or disorder i mean undoubtedly something's wrong with her uh people can make jokes all day about how she's really a merman from series he-man masters of the universe uh, but again, bottom line, we can laugh at our own peril because this is affecting all of us and all of our children. And genetic disorders are off the chart. They're just telling us, oh, this is just because we have bad genes. Well, why wasn't it expressing like this before? It is the environmental things that are being added into the food chain by design that is clearly causing this to happen. And the globalists told us that that's what they were planning to do. So this is a woman's hand right here. It's a man's hand. Maybe I'm, I'm on the wrong game. My fault. So you got this ring, ring finger here. Okay, so yeah, my ring finger right here. Next finger. Here. So it's index finger is longer. This finger is longer. I'm gonna ask my girl after this. I wanna see our index, if our index finger is longer than our ring finger. <laughs> That ain't the ring. I need to see the ring. Like, I guess that's the same thing. But pinky. Let's restart. Let's restart. <clears throat> oh, I see it. This the right hand though. Like it's like it's like they trying to like I like I understand, but this.
Okay, let's let's do this then. Let's do this. This is both the same. No stretchy fingers here. So we, we here and we here. Okay, okay, okay. See, you look like it like it's 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 we 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 <laughs> See, right here, even right here. Bad. Bad. Sorry if I'm yelling in y'all ear. Just want to see something. I'm not done, but I want to see something right quick. Huh? I'm not done, I just want to see something right quick. Come right quick. Come here. say your index so my so my index finger is longer than my I mean my my ring finger is longer than my index but your hand but you got can't look at my nails you gotta look at my huh you can't look at my nails you gotta look at my oh. fingers let me go back to this so so right here da 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 come on so the index finger. So your index finger is shorter than a ring finger. Index finger is shorter than a ring finger. Daddy. That's what I'm saying. So your your index finger. Wait, is this for like women or something? Yeah. So your index finger. Man, I gotta find this again. Dada. Da. Serenity calm. So look, this is a woman's hand. Your index is longer. Do you see this? Mm-hmm. Look at mine. Look, look, look at me. My ring finger is long. Look at that. Now when you go here, look at her fingers. They look like yours. Exactly. That's all I wanted to see. Now right here, you can take your picture back. I showed, I showed everybody your picture. Yeah. But that's what I'm. That's what I'm talking about. Like I'm. That is crazy. Then you got an Adam's apple. You got an Adam's apple. Oh, no. Oh, no. Get off of there. Oh, no. This, this, y'all, oh, they, yeah, we got to get off of this one. Yeah. We got to end it here. Look at this stuff. Oh, no. Let me look at, let me look at that hand again. That, that's some, that's some, that's some, that's crazy. I don't know, y'all let me know y'all thoughts on this video. It's kind of, it's kind of sketchy, kind of, kind of, uh, uh, mind blowing. I had to bring you Femi Chris in here so we can see daddy showed y'all her picture. Um, y'all don't know Rennie. Her name is Rennie. Uh, I'll call her daddy, but, um, it's a little odd. Well, I, 
Let me know y'all thoughts in the comments. Definitely appreciate y'all tuning in. If it's other videos y'all want me to check it, make sure y'all comment down below. Hopefully y'all can see this video. Hopefully they didn't delete my video. But much love. Catch y'all next one.